it's amazing to see the passion that comes out of all our employees around a project like this. Why do we do this? How? The reason is because every single person in this company from the bottom of their heart has passion for our vision to change the world. The fact that we are working with NASA, to say that's a dream come true is about the biggest understatement there possibly could be. For NASA to find SI means we've really got something special going on. So that is pretty much the pinnacle of, of, of making it, is working for NASA or making something for NASA. We are involved in one of the coolest things you could ever imagine. First thing we ask them is like, why? Why do you need a projection screen in space? What's the benefit? You could put a 60 inch flat panel TV up on the space station, but first of all, it's gonna cost you $100,000 to fly it up there because of its, of its weight. And then we discovered they have 13 inch monitors and that's it, laptops. That is their connection to society. And it used to be a little, you know, monitor on a laptop or something. I mean, this gets old after a while, but you know, kicking out in some zero G in front of the big screen is not a bad way to hang out. Here, our screen, in life size is gonna connect him with his family and his children in a way that he would have missed out on. And that is extraordinarily important to them because even though they can look down and see Earth right below them, it's still a long way away. When NASA approached us this summer, we'd only had Slate out for about four or five months. And then the paradigm at the time, it was just truly amazing that NASA shows up at our door and says, hey, we want this technology. We've taken everything we learned from Black Diamond and everything we learned from creating the best white and gray screens in the industry and found a middle ground. Just the requirements to be on the list of things that can go up into space to make that is, is pretty impressive. The ambient light rejection so they can watch it with the lights on is a huge benefit. Oh yeah, ambient light. The lights are always on. <laughs> they can turn them off, but why? Very high contrast screen, so the images will be very rich, very lifelike. They saw that after all the research they did that these guys are making a flying car, everybody else is making a white and gray screen. Completely different from every other screen this company has probably ever made and different from every screen anybody's ever made. You need something that's extremely compact. You need something that's portable. We drew up a CAD for it. We started getting creative. It just worked right away. With our screen, we rolled it into this custom container that we built just for this ride. It only is about this big around and about this long to get a 60 inch screen to the space station. The screen has to be able to mount basically anywhere. We had to be able to use our screen in any airlock, any time, and it actually has to deploy center and be perfectly flat at zero gravity. They simply string it up with the uh, attachment system we developed for them, and voila. And the technology was perfect to actually deploy and, and at zero gravity have a perfectly flat image. Attention all personnel, stand by to pick up the count. Three, two, one, mark, easy. The Falcon soars from its perch toward the International Space Station. And you know, you, you didn't mention that while we designed the screen, we were also at the same time co-developing a uh, delivery system. I found half my employees on top of a mountain shooting rockets, bottle rockets, fireworks, and filming it with freaking helicopters from 3DR. So we had five, five shoots, I think. Uh, four of them were successful. One of them was a failure to leave the pad. Um, ah, catastrophic <laughs> failure. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but these things happen. We wanted to make sure that what we handed over to NASA was going to work. So it was important for us to, to make the investment in the rockets, to fire the rockets, and to cheer loudly when the rockets went off. 
It's stuff like that that we do all the time, and it's stuff like that that makes it fun. And it flew. Yeah, and it's still man. blowing. Ooh. And it's a fire hazard. Oh, we did hey, oh, we have a parachute. Okay. And we launched five times and recovered all five uh, launch vehicles. And um, I'm pretty sure that's a record. All kidding aside, we're 100% serious when it comes to developing our products, but we're also 100% serious about having a good time doing it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I, I wouldn't trade it for the world, man. It, it confirms what we're doing is right, and it confirms that we're on the right path. We are the future, and we will be there to change and give people something they never had before.